Welcome, welcome. We are doing our wonderful reveal tonight, and it is around hashtag won't. If you have been paying attention to anybody tagged in this video, you'll see we've been doing lots of stories around the word won't, hashtag won't. And it comes from a quote from Zig Ziglar, and we're excited to share everybody's uh, kind of takeaways this quote and around their stories this week to this hashtag. But the quote is, you can get everything in life you want if you will just help enough other people get what they want. Again, it is by Zig Ziglar. I'm excited about this quote. I actually picked it out. Um, I totally believe in uh, what Zig Ziglar is saying here, and I love helping people, so it helps me feel really good to do so. So with that, I am going to turn this over to the lovely Miss Dawn McGee, who, by the way, has been with us over maybe 14, 15 weeks in the Story Sale program. We truly value her and love her support and contribution to this community. So I want to turn it right over to you, Dawn, to interview tonight. Thank you, Kibi. And this is a fabulous quote. I love this one too. It comes straight from my heart. So Zig Ziglar is one of my favorites as well. So the first person we want to hear from is Noelle. So Noelle, what does this quote and hashtag want mean to you? Thank you, Don. Well, want was fun because there's a lot of things, a lot of directions to go with that. I do love this quote and not to confuse it, but I, I saw something on one of our other um, friends and business partners pages today that was very similar. And it was about if you want to get unstuck, the fastest thing to do is go do something for someone else. So I know that's kind of bringing us another quote in, but it's a similar concept. And so I can find myself throughout the day asking, you know, what is it that you're stuck on right now? What is it that you're worrying about? What is it that your mind is telling you is, you know, something that needs to be ruminated on? Well, just put that aside and go and think about someone else. Do something for someone else. The fastest way to get out of out of our heads. So that's what I really loved about it. And and this one, this quote is the same, you know, going and, and doing more, serving more people to bring more of what we want into our lives. So thank you so much, Don. Yes, thank you, Noelle. That is great. And, and I saw that one as well. And that is one of a, a great way to go ahead and get unstuck is to help somebody else. And it kind of, it's very uplifting too. So with, thank you so much for that. And with that, I want to go right to Kat. Hi. What to you. I love this quote because I'm a supporter and I love helping other people. And one of the biggest struggles I had with moving into a new type of career is that you need to tell other people what you have. And I always would get really nervous about that and think, oh no, they think I'm trying to sell them something. But if I put myself in the headspace of really, truly trying to help other people and just reaching out and help, 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 then it gets me out of that negative headspace and into a positive one, which is go help a whole bunch of people. And then I can stay home and never have to do accounting again. Yay! <laughs> Thank you so much, Dawn. Back to you. Oh, yay. Yes. That's a wonderful feeling, isn't it, Kat? I'm so excited for you. Thank you for sharing. Okay, and the next person I would like to call on is Denise. What does this quote, hashtag want, mean to you? Thanks, Dawn. I had fun with this one. And I, like Noelle, went lots of different directions. And so some days I would think about the hashtag want of, um, you know, what do people want versus what do they really need? Um, what do we want versus what does God have for us? Um, and then on the flip side of that, I started thinking about the essence of the quote and what is it that I can do that would foster someone else to grow wherever they are or take that next first step in their journey for whatever their goals are, whether it's health or business or family or whatever. So it was a lot of fun this week and it took me in lots of different directions. So all of my different posts were all over the board and that, that was kind of fun too. So 
thanks for um, sharing this with us and I'll send it back to you, Dawn. Right, thank you, Denise. That was so good, so, so good. And now next I'd like to take it to the beautiful Wanda Kyle. What does hashtag want mean to you? Well, um, thank you, Dawn. Thank you for um, interviewing us and, and I love, just love your beautiful smile want to me was more about what God wants for us. And then when we put that into the world, we help other people see what he has for us and thereby we're all growing. So that was kind of the way I went at this quote. And if it is very much, if we will help other people get what they want, we can help ourselves. And it, it is not even about um, money or anything like that. It's about the joy, the love, the sharing, um, the family time. All of that just gives us back what we want. Um, so thank you, Dom, for, for that. Oh, you are welcome. Thank you so much, Wanda. And that resonates so much with me, as you well know. You know, it's not about the materialistic things that we might want. It's the joy that helping other people gives us. And that's where my passion lies too. So I can absolutely um, relate to that. Now, the quote, you can get everything in life that you want if you will just help enough other people get what they want by Zig Ziglar. And, um, and our hashtag, again, was want. And next, I'd like to call on Laura Brown. So, Laura, what did that hashtag and quote mean to you this week? So, uh, I really thought a lot about the community. Um, this time of year, there's a lot of needs in the community. It starts getting colder in my area. We have a lot of, you know, food drives and coat drives and turkey drives and Christmas drives. And I just really thought about where I, you know, where and what I want to do in the community, people helping people all the time. And that really gives me a lot of happiness. I really enjoy doing that and just being available to really volunteer where we're needed. So I really thought a lot about that. And then I also thought about the products that, you know, I show people and talk about and how the products have helped myself and how the products can help other people. So those were, those were two of the things that I really thought about with that hashtag want. Back to you. Wonderful. Thank you, Laura. That was so good. Yes. And, and this, this time of the year is for that. And so, um, wonderful. That's so good. Thank you. And next up is Lori Kay. Lori, what did this quote and hashtag want mean for you this week? Hey, Don, how's it going? Um, I, <laughs> I had a variety of different things that have come up for me as well as a lot of the ladies had shared tonight. So good. It's, it's kind of neat when we listen to see what fits for each person in their mindset and in their walk. A lot of mine were on what does God want for me? I've got a lot of change going on and then how I can help others maybe help develop what's going on for them and what their want might be because sometimes we don't know unless we have conversation. Um, I liked what Laura shared about um, places where we could help give our time. Um, and again, in helping others, the church yesterday was just filled with so much needs in our community, you know, and where we could plug in. So it was more God centered and helping others through what that want might be for them. So back to you, Don. Wonderful. Thank you. That was so good, Lori. Oh my gosh. Everyone has a lot. And, I, and I've got to say, I went through and looked at everybody's posts right before this today, and there were some incredible posts out there. So I would encourage everybody to go back and look at any one of these ladies' posts, because they were absolutely remarkable. 
So with that, I'd like to go to Lay. What does hashtag want in this quote mean to you? Hi, thank you, Don. So nice to see you tonight. And thank you for um, hosting and interviewing us. You know, I, I thought about different things. And, you know, one of the things that I've always done in my life is always been there for others. And so now um, being part of our community now, it's afforded me to really look even further on what I can do in terms of serving. Uh, one of the things that I, I notice a lot of people, they, they have dreams and they have needs and wants, right? So my hope is that I can touch more people out there that with whatever they want and help them to get to that next level, whether it's financial or, um, or maybe just learning about God, you know, um, in that respect. And also one of the other things that I've been thinking about, and I've been, I heard from, from Laura already, is really about ser serving our community. On my commute to work every day, I see a lot of homeless people on the road, you know, panhandling. And one of the things that I've been thinking about doing is putting together a blessing bag, you know, and to be able to just give, whether it's, you know, it could be socks and some food in there and maybe a little bit of uh, money in there just so that to bless them, you know, throughout the year, not just during the holidays. So that's something that I'll be working. So that's one of my biggest wants this time of the year is to put that together so that I can actually bless these people as I'm on my commute on a daily basis because I see so many out there that can um that needs a, just a little bit just to get them by so Don that back to you it's very very touching for me oh that's wonderful oh my gosh Lay, that was so good and I used to do that with my kids we would have little bags made up and pass them out to the people standing on the corners in the streets. And, and you're right, it's not just this time of year that they need it, it's all Correct the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All the time, so thank you so much for sharing that. Mm -hmm. Great. All right, um, Virgie, now you're up. If you would share with us what inspired your posts for this week. Thank you, Don. Um, I love all the inspiration this week. Hashtag want has been so amazing. I found myself going through each post and just like dancing. And so thank you all for all the inspiration. Um, yeah. <laughs> but for me, it basically, um, it had um, given me a lot of thought to what I really want. And um, just that I need to share in order for me to help others and receive what I want. Because like the hashtags, uh, the quote itself said that in order for us to get forgive me I don't remember exactly but we need to help others so um it's been fun it also um opened my eyes and um it's telling me that I need to share my story in order for me to help others not only my weight loss journey and all that but my struggles and everything but I love it. Thank you so much, um, Coach Kibi, for the amazing quote this week. Thank you, Don. You're welcome, Virgie. That was wonderful. And, and um, you know, the quote, you can get everything in life you want if you will just help enough other people get what they want. Um, hashtag want. And, you know, it was very... I can relate to what you said, Virgie. A lot of them, yeah, I just start dancing around and, and yippee, you know, yay, and thank God and what have you. And I had, this was a big week for me. I had a lot of stuff come up. Seven year anniversary of a very tragic, tragic um, accident that uh, I was not expected to recover from. So <laughs> wonderful. Um, very emotional, but also makes me very thankful for where I'm at and what I'm doing. And then, of course, uh, we just completed Success Through Vision with Miss Carmen, who is up next. And she's she got to hear a lot about a little bit more on the inside of me, but it's not about that, Carmen. So what did hashtag want mean to you this week? Thanks, Dawn. I appreciate it very much. So, you know, this quote was amazing. I uh, just, 
it actually makes me think of right now. I just got to work uh, early because I'm working a night shift tonight and uh, through a snowstorm because it's been storming for the last two days here. So we have like about, uh, not a lot, but only like two or three inches of snow. But, you know, like uh, making that commitment and, and driving through a snowstorm to come to work and to help serve the people that I take care of, which really means a lot to me because I'm giving my love and compassion for for people that can't uh, help themselves anymore. And, you know, that really impacted me just just uh, driving in and thinking about the quote and and helping in turn get what I want from life because I'm, I'm helping in turn for changing, exchanging my time for money for one thing, but also being able to use that money to take care of my family, take care of my household, take care of my wants. And that was, uh, yeah, it really made me think about that tonight, tonight driving in. Thanks, Don. Oh, you're welcome. That's so good. And and I thank you for what you do because as people like you and people like many of you that's on here today that not exactly each of you, but people like you that helped me on my journey be able to <coughs> and get back to where I'm at. And so my whole focus and purpose in life is to help others now. So I'm very thankful and fortunate for that. So next up, so thank you so much, Carmen. Next up is Miss Dana. Dana, what did this quote and hashtag mean to you this week? Well, thank you so much, Don. Uh, yeah, so I focused on the second part of that quote as well, which is um, if you help enough other people get what they want. Um, I uh, like to serve people, support people, so I get a lot of joy and fulfillment when I see other people succeed, when I can help other people get what they want, um, no matter how small it is, how big it is, because it's always big to them. And so I enjoy being able to see other people accomplish their goals. It really gives me a lot of joy and makes me um makes me happy and makes me smile. Back to you, Don. Oh, thank you, Dana, so much. That was so good. And that, you're just singing my song right there. That's what I like. So there has been so many wonderful posts this week for this hashtag and everything everybody said that went in various directions. They were great, but Kimi, I'd like to turn it over to you to close this out today. Thank you, everyone. Number one, for just hopping on. I know we all have commitments. We have, like, Carmen's at work fitting this in. I know Dana stays at her job to fit it in. So we are just so grateful for your voice, your support, and your commitment here for getting on. And that's for everybody. If I miss somebody who's, I think Wanda's working, too. I see the background. It's not her flag, so she's not at home. But um, I'm just excited about Story Cell. I'm excited about our maintenance, our inner circle. And so with that, it leads into the quote of helping people get what they want. And we in return get what we want. So first for me, it's about what do I want, right? Really figuring out why we're here, our vision, our mission, right? So we can help others. We have to put that oxygen mask on first, right? What do we want, right? Sometimes... We need to be the encourager, the supporter, the follower, the person that pushes people up, lifts people up, calls people to a higher place first, right? That's what we should be doing. And then in return, we see that seed sowing. Um, also, it's about keeping the blinders on with the naysayers, the critics, the inner bully, the things going on. If we focus on what we want and continue to help people, by default, it grows no matter what the crickets are saying over here in the church. It doesn't matter as long as you're focused, right? So with this quote, Zig Ziglar saying, who cares what you think? Who cares what they think? 
focus on the prize and that's helping people. If you help people, you will succeed. Then it's about the law of reciprocation. What we give, we receive. So it reciprocates, right? It is a law, whether we believe it or not. So I love that. If I can just go help people, I win. So there's no loss. You're helping people. So for me, my why is to be in a story. You guys know if you're around me long enough, you hear me say that. It's kind of my preamble. I want to be in a story. I want to be in a testimony. I can do that one person at a time. So where you're sitting right now, if you're thinking about what success looks like for you in your life, what you want to improve, it may be real big, right? Well, that's so far away. It's not. It's one person at a time. If you just help one person at a time, it starts to duplicate and reciprocate back. And I love Zig Ziglar because the focus here is on network marketing. I love the industry of network marketing. I encourage everybody to be in some business of network marketing if you're not. Um, and we know some here, a lot of us on the panel represent different companies. Network marketing is the best business out there with helping people. For example, I can go to my corporate job and I do not get paid to help others. I can't teach a teammate what I know and get paid for that. In network marketing, if I lift enough people up my bank account blows up. And in network marketing, anything that blows up is a good thing. When a bank account blows up, it's a good thing. So I love what Zig Ziglar's saying here, that if we help enough people get what they want, we get what we want. And that is really about network marketing. So as we're networking and we're marketing and we're sowing the seed and we're encouraging people, teaching skill, uh, plugging people into systems, giving them that time, in return, they go do the same and our efforts just start duplicating and reciprocating. So that's what hashtag want meant to, to me this week. That's what this quote meant for me. Thank you everybody for sharing. If you're watching on the live, be sure and drop a comment. Let us know you watched. Uh, let us know what you think about this quote. If you're a Zig Ziglar fan, if you uh, wanna share, be sure, sure to do so in the comments. And um, we'll see everybody next week. Make sure you're tuning in, story, sell, Bye, everybody. Bye.